Hi everyone, hope you all doing well. Welcome back to our channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about table transformation method, which is available on Azure portal itself. And uh, this can help you to save again a lot of cost as I have shown in my last three videos. And this is one of the methods to achieve transformations where you can actually remove certain columns or certain values getting ingested for a specific table type. OK, so before you go ahead and perform any of the activities that I will be showing in this particular video, it's very important for you to understand how exactly data ingestion sizing works, uh, how exactly the cost is defined for data ingestion in log analytics workspace, because as we know, there are two different kind of columns and they hold values. The very first one is the build size and the other one is is build okay so is build is the name of the column which will show you that whether this particular record that exists in a specific table is actually built or not now as i have stated this in my last video the only way to reduce data ingestion cost is to reduce the build size okay and that's exactly what i'm going to showcase in this particular video with the help of tra table transformation method which is available on azure portal so as we know that for every workspace, there are different tables which are receiving data. And I will be taking this particular example, which is AAD non-interactive user sign-in logs for this particular demo. However, whatever I'm going to show in this particular video is something that's applicable to any table. So since in uh, our use case, parallelly, there is a Sentinel playlist, which is also running. So to set up the context, I'm using the same security tables. However, with this being said, starting from this point onwards, whatever I'm showing is something that can be replicated to any of these tables. OK, so step number one is you have to select the table where you have to apply the transformation. Then the moment you'll click on this option of create transformation, it will ask you to create a DCR fundamentally. OK, and then in this DCR, you will be defining which attributes you want to remove from getting ingested. Now I am giving you the example of removing a specific value, but with this being said, the transformation can be anything. You can even populate a new uh, attribute or a new column by saying that if this value exists, populate ABC, or you can combine multiple values as well, and then actually populate a statement. So this is also something which I might show as we move along with this playlist, depending upon the response that I'm getting. However, with this being said, this is one of the transformation method that I'm showing you right now. OK, so the moment you'll click on next, then you have to click on this option, which says transformation editor. However, this section will show you the default response of this particular table. Now, the moment you'll click on transformation editor, the next section will be for you to run the query. Now there will be fundamentally only one option available over here and that is source. Source here basically means this table name itself. So let's say if you click on run, you will get the default response of this particular source, which is AAD non-interactive sign-in logs. And then you can go ahead and add your query for which you want certain data to be filtered, okay? So if you remember in my last video as well, I was telling you that this is the same section that you have to add. And once this is added here, then the next set of events which are coming in this particular table will not have these values. Now, this console is acting as, let's say, a kind of an artifact for you to verify that whether the change that you are making is appropriate or not, or whether the change that you are making, you will get the expected outcomes or not, because you can see over here, the first column that I have removed is operation version. And if I'll show you the result, it does not have that value here. OK, so use this section to make sure that you verify whether the right set of data is actually getting ingested or whether the right set of data is getting removed. Now, let me show you all this in action and then things will make a lot more sense. OK, so this is my Azure portal and I'm going to click on my workspace. This is a workspace that we have used for our Sentinel playlist as well. 
And as you can see, this is a particular table that I'm referring to, which is AAD, non-interactive user sign in logs. And we are basically going to customize this particular table for data ingestion. However, before I go there, let me just show you something. And that is, let's say if I query the first entry of this particular table, and if I just try to estimate the data size, this is what I'm getting, which is 2979. However, the moment my filter is applied or the moment customization is applied where I'm not getting all these values populated, then let's just go ahead and see what is the data that I'm getting. It's around 2785. So you can see 2979 to 2785, the data ingestion, the actual size has been reduced. So make sure you do this as well, just to make sure that how much data ingestion you can actually save. Now, again, with this being said that since it is one record, the value is so low that you may think it is not making sense. But when you implement this in your environment, and when we talk about millions and billions of records coming in, then this is something which can help you save a lot of cost. And just for your information, if you have integrated Azure AD with Microsoft Sentinel, then and if you have selected this particular table, this is actually chargeable. So let's say if I go ahead and say project is billable and build size and let's just choose the top 10. OK, so I'll say here top 10 by time generated. OK. Is billable is repeated. OK. Build size. OK. I click on run and you can see this is again something which is chargeable. Okay. So now what I'll do is I'll come back to my workspace where I'm going to add transformation, which is this option, create transformation. Now here there is no default transformation available for this particular table. That's why I'm not getting any option over here. So I'll just click on this option, which says create a new data collection rule. And I'm going to choose the same resource group where I have kept all my Sentinel resources and I'm going to name it as the table name itself. So let's say DCR and then customization. Okay. And then I'll click on done. I'll click on next. And again, you can see this is the default kind of outcome, which is coming. And what you will see that once I'll apply my filter, I will not get operation name. I will not get result signature, result type and resource group. I mean, from this particular section itself. However, there are multiple different things that I have added. OK, so as you can see, now I'm getting source. If I'll click on run, I'll again get the default outcome of this particular table that is going to have all the values. So let me just quickly show you one of the values which I'm going to re remove. And this is a resource group, one of them and then is interactive as well. And then let's say if I'll show you the operations one, okay, operation version. So now let's go ahead, just uh, remove the attributes which we don't need, which is this particular line. And how to do this is something that I have explained in the second last video, which is data filtering. So make sure you go ahead and watch that video as well that how and why you should decide all this, because if there is something which you might not need for any kind of analysis, then it's better that you should just dump it. It's just adding unnecessary cost. OK, so now we have applied the query wherein we want certain columns to be removed. And let's move alphabetically and see whether we are getting category, let's say, or not. OK, so I'll scroll right. And let's see if I'm getting category, I'm not getting it. Okay. And then let's go ahead and check for result type and result signature. And uh, yeah, you can see it's not here. Okay. So fundamentally, now if I go ahead and click on apply, a new DCR will be created the moment I'll click on next. And this will be the name of my data collection rule. So let me just go ahead and go to the data collection rule section and see 
if there is any which exists by default you can see there is no rule with this particular name so now let's go ahead and just click on create the expected outcome is we should get an error because there is a specific type which is mentioned over here which cannot be excluded but still i'm telling you and i'm showing you all this in exceptionally raw form so that when you try to do this in your environment you can actually figure out that what is something which has to be removed okay so now let's just see the error and it is showing me that there is some problem uh, with the query itself and it shows me semantic error and it says undefined type undefined symbol which is basically type which means this is something which cannot be excluded okay so i'll go back and click on transformation editor and now you can see it has been reformatted for me already so i'll just remove this last one which is type and i'll click on run i'll click on apply again and then i'll click on next and again i'll click on create so if you're getting any error here then obviously the dcr will not be created it's that simple i could have avoided this kind of a message for you but still i'm keeping all this because when you will do transformation uh, for certain other tables there could be a possibility that you will get these kind of errors so it's very important for you to understand how things are working at the core so basically you can make uh, the required changes depending upon your requirement okay so now practically uh, this dcr that we have just created i'll refresh this list and you can see this is the first one it takes around 20 minutes and at times it may take up to two hours to get applied okay so as of now it's around 2 p.m okay what i'll do is i'll wait for 30 minutes and i will resume the video once i see the transformation so the expected outcome is that if I run this query after 30 minutes, okay, then I should not get this operation version getting mentioned over here. Okay, so I'll pause the video and we'll resume and I'll show you the match between the data size with the actual data ingestion and the one after which we have applied the transformation. Perfect. So it took around 15 minutes in my environment for that change to be implemented. And now you can see I'm accessing the same table and all these values are not populated, which I have removed. You can see I'm not getting operation version, category, result type and all this. Just for your information, let me open uh, the query again, which we have added. And you can see this is the one. Okay category result type result signature resource group and all these values are now not coming your resource group is also blank now if i'll scroll down the last entry was around 134 so if i'll keep on scrolling you can see here everything was coming and then around 2 we made the change and from 213 practically speaking no data is coming so let's just do a match to quickly verify whether the changes that we have made are actually you know fruitful or not so i'll say operation version contains 1.0 and then project build size and for only top 10 by time generated it should be time okay so the reason why it's not coming because it's something that we are typing in the last line but here let me say top 10 by time generated and i'll click on run so this is the data ingestion before we have made the change now let's just remove this and say top 10 you can see it's ha it has been reduced compared to what we were getting before okay so these are all the methods where you can apply table transformation in azure log analytics workspace in the next video i'm going to showcase how you can access dcr through apis so that you can go ahead and make customization for the sources where the data is getting ingested through azure monitor agent or let's say through apis 
So if you think that this channel is helping you to learn anything new, please feel free to subscribe and share this video with your technical community. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time.